In this lesson, you will learn about rounding to the nearest hundred. So when we're rounding to the nearest hundred, what we want to do is kind of identify the hundreds place. What I like to do is underline the number I'm rounding to, and the number to the right, this number, is going to tell this number what to do. Okay? If this number to the right is zero to four, this number here will stay the same, the number in the hundreds. If this number to the right is between five and nine, it tells this number to go up. I like to say that it's bossy and it tells it to go up. Okay, so first we identify the hundreds place and the number to the right tells that number what to do. So this seven tells this four to go up one. So this is rounds to 500. 473 is closer to 500 than it is 400. Okay, let's do another example. We have 2,527. We're rounding to the nearest hundred, so I identify the hundreds place, and the number to the right tells that number what to do. So this two is between zero and four. It tells that number to stay the same. This two tells the five to stay the same. So this becomes 2,500. 2,527 is closer to 2,500 than it is to 2,600. Okay, let's try a tricky one. This is 5,999. Is this number, sorry, that's 91, 5,991. Is this number closer to 5,900 or, or is it closer to 6,000? Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Underline the hundreds place, that's where we're rounding to, and the number to the right, this number tells that number what to do. It is a nine, so it tells this number to go up one. Well, if that goes up one, it's a 10, so that number actually has to go up one as well. This number rounds to 6,000. 5,991 is closer to 6,000 than it is 5,900. That's the end of this lesson on rounding to the nearest hundred.